Hey guys, welcome back. So I have put the printer in the same place where my old printer was. Not old, I'm still going to use that as well, but I need to make a separate bench where both the printers will live next to each other. They'll coexist. It'll be this really nice relationship where I print big, goofy stuff with the, the uh, FDM printer and print the uh, fine detail, beautiful stuff with this new form lab. It's going to be great. So I'm just about to do the first print, and uh, the thing is set up. The tank is empty for the resin. The resin is installed, but apparently it has to fill the tank. So we are going to see what happens here. I'm going to say send a printer, and please do not disconnect printer. Uh, so it's sending the data now, and we'll see what happens. If it's going to start filling this tank with resin or, or what the deal is. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. This should be pretty cool. So, generating print files. Just printing some random bits and pieces here to give it a test. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It looks like this is going to be kind of more boring than I expected. So I'm going to speed this part up and or edit it. And yes, see you in a minute. So the, the little files come up here. Uh, on the printer. This is the very first time I'm doing this. So, we've got our little files that's ready to print. And I'm going to hit print now. Open cartridge vent, which is done. Check print build platform. Looks like it's connected. Confirm. Oh. Oh, that doesn't sound good. So no, no, uh, oh, look at that. Please level printer. It's supposed to give me a leveling thing before I started. That's what it said in the instructions. Didn't seem to give me any option. Printer is not level. All right, let's level this sucker. All right, so now I got to level it. I got to get that little tool that I had the other day. This is the leveling tool. So... Oh, there's two of them here. Look at that. Interesting. So, it's a little bit low in the back. And this goes under here. All right, it says it's within the range. That was a pain in the ass. And I gotta move it a little bit. So I'm sure it's gonna have to do this again. All right, continue. All right, so tank is filling. I'll s zoom in and we'll speed this up. Focus. This may take several minutes, so who knows how long this is going to be on for. There it goes. Resin is coming into the back corner there. Focus. There it is. All right, we're going to watch that fill. It is 2.03 right now. So this says may take a few minutes. And the tank has to warm up to, it's 24.4 uh, degrees Celsius right now. And it has to be 31 degrees Celsius to start printing. So I'm, I'm very excited. Uh oh, resin tank fill error. Look at this. Due to a sensing error, the tank could not refill. Please reinsert the tank and try again. Oh, God. All right. Not exciting. Jeez, I don't know how to do this. I'm already dealing with gross resin. Ugh. I want to take this all the way out. How the fuck do I do this? 
it says tank removed. Tank inserted. Cover is open. Put a little squeegee tool back in. Close this sucker. All right, try again. Hopefully it works. I don't know what the deal was with that. That was weird. It is now 2.09, so it's been six minutes since I started. Uh, says filling. I don't see anything coming out yet, so I might have to go through another that step again. Hopefully all is okay. God damn it, sensing error. So, I'm getting this error right here. Focus. So. Uh, see if I can sort that out, guys. I'm going to turn off this video and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so back it is four minutes later. I looked online and someone said to pull the tank out, put it back in, and then just push the right side a little bit further than the left. And it seems to be working now. It was working. The, the thing was uh, filling. I saw some resin going in there just a moment ago. And uh, maybe that's enough resin. Maybe that's all it needs to get started. And it's got to get to temperature, which is two and a half degrees away right now. Not even. One and a half degrees away right now. Oh, boy. It's got to be cool. So, oh, there's some more resins point out. So I guess it puts in a little bit at a time and lets it level. A little more resin's going in. And because the new resin is cold, the temperature just dropped a little bit in the tank. God damn it. Get there. Come on. Come on. We can do this, guys. It's going to work. It's going to freaking work. Work. I'm excited. So we're just going to note the time. I'm going to stop wasting all my memory card here. 2.14. Uh... It's heating up slowly. It's putting out a little more resin. It's pumped out a little bit each time, I guess. Okay, so it is now filled. And I missed a little point. Got to the top, and the little squeegee went. Did a, one little swipe back and forth, and it said, resin tank filled. And we are almost to temperature here. Print will start at 31 degrees, and it is 30.1 degrees right now. So... Just waiting for the tank to warm up. And it doesn't help that it's actually pretty freaking cold in my room right now. It's been chilly out the last few days, so... Come on, baby! 30.6. And I'm getting messages left and right. Oh, there goes another swipe. Almost there. Maybe this helps the uh, resin even out temperature or something. I'm going to be doing a lot of speeding up of this video. So this is the time now, 2.23. Now, obviously, I won't have to wait for the tank to fill again on future prints until, until this one runs out. But, uh, yeah, until then, I'll probably have to deal with this setup time, at least the warm-up time. There, 31.4 should be starting now. Oh, there it goes. So it gives a slosh of the resin. Checks the surface a little bit, I guess. Oh, there it goes. Now, another thing is apparently I should get a UV cure oven. Uh, people use the kind that they use at beauty salons for drying nails. So I will get one of those soon. Look at that, layer one out of 1,044 layers. And I did the auto orientation on these parts and I initially oriented them by myself and it looked good and it gives you these red um, marks on your parts if it looks like they might be at risk of not printing correctly and the auto orientation actually left me with some red marks and I didn't think to check before I started this thing, which is unfortunate. So it'll be okay. These parts are test. If they come out good, great. If they don't, then it's okay. 
So, four hours and 24 minutes remaining. All right, I'm going to let this thing go. I'll come back in a little bit and check on it. All right, guys, so the first print finished. It took four hours and 27 minutes at 1,044 layers, so a lot of layers, and I did it on the medium setting, and from what I can tell, it looks really awesome. So the other day when I did the unboxing, there was a moment when I thought there was some kind of maybe a cover, just this bag full of black plastic. It's a ton of gloves. And uh, this is the first pair I'm putting on, and it looks like the fingers are very stuck together. So we'll see. These are nitrile gloves. Hopefully, uh, if people are allergic to, like, latex or something, these won't bother you at all. They shouldn't. I believe nitrile gloves are allergy-free. And if you're doing mold making, totally off-topic from 3D printing, or maybe not, if you're doing mold making and you're using platinum silicones, you want nitrile gloves because latex gloves will kind of mess up the curing of your silicone. So, ugh, get these gloves on. I'm gonna pull this, this print out and I'm gonna try my best not to dripping this resin places. I hear it's very, very gross and gets on everything. Ah, boy, these gloves are hard to get on. Jeez. This is when uh, my air compressor, which is empty right now, i got to turn it on and fill it up, is really good for opening up gloves. So if you have an air compressor, you get the little blower and you can blow up your gloves and it makes them very easy to put on. Okay, here we go. I'm going to grab the, uh, the holder here, which looks like this. So when you take your print out, you have a place to uh, grab onto it and wait to hold it. The top is open. There's a little latch right here. Lift that off, and the print should be able to come out. Try not to drip any of this resin. Oh my gosh. On, on medium setting, these parts came out so good. So good. Um, wow, some of these things are very, very small and fiddly, and they came out great. So, let's put them on this thing before I get too much resin on myself. There we go. I'm going to close this because my room is dusty and I don't want my resin to fill up with dust. But there are the parts. So I'm going to go pop these off of the stand here and put them in the resin. I don't think I need to show that. It's basically a little tool. And they, they add a lip at the bottom here so you can pop the pieces off real easy. And uh, I'm going to get those soaking in some alcohol to clean off the resin. And uh, we'll take a look once they're done. All right, so I've got the parts uh, rinsed off with the alcohol. It's They're still a little wet, but they're starting to dry. And I don't know if you can see. This thing won't even, I don't know if I can get it to focus. Let's see. Focus, focus, my dirty fingernails. These parts are super, super duper fine. And, of course, because I want to show them to you, they are not focusing. Maybe if I zoom in, it'll focus a little better. But uh, these maybe a millimeter, a millimeter and a half thick. Come on, focus. What's it doing? Uh, there it goes. Look at that. Basically no print lines. If you put it just right angle, you can kind of catch them in the light. But they're not anything that... They don't even really have any texture to them. And they aren't going to show up at all if there's any paint they'll be gone and most of the angles I don't even see them in right here I'm about three inches away from this part I'm sorry it's not focusing this is ridiculous come on focus put my hand here focus but um, man these parts came out really good 
Uh, I could probably go in and edit the um, edit the actual supports a little bit better. I mean, look at look how fine this little fin is right here. It is so small, and it printed it perfectly. And this is the medium setting, guys. This is not look at look at the size of this part compared to my thumb. This isn't the hyper detail setting. This is medium, and it's more than good enough. This is better than I expected the good setting to be. So um, there are some little support things. Again, I should have edited these parts. Obviously, this is a Millennium Falcon dish. You can find these on Thingiverse. Thingiverse. I can, I never know how to say it. Thingiverse. Um, and. The only lines that I can actually see on here are the lines from the actual model, like the, the fastening of the polygons, which is pretty minimal, but um, so clean. Medium setting. Very, very thrilled about this printer. I'm going to go get the, the cutters and try to trim off some of this support material. I'll back this out. Whew. All right, sorry, that was a little bit lost ramble there because... I didn't know what I was going to say. These little things shoot all over the place. Uh, so apparently these parts are... Um, they need to be exposed to some UV light to really cure them well. So for these, I'm going to set them outside tomorrow in the sun. Looks like it's going to be sunny, hopefully. Uh, but I will be purchasing a small... UV uh, light box, which I use for uh, fingernails at beauty salons, and apparently they're only like 25 or 30 bucks, and you put your models in there for a little bit, and it'll really harden up the resin, so I will be investing in one of those, and once I get one, I'll, I'll definitely review that. Now, I don't need to say too much about these printers, there's tons of reviews on them out there, but I figured... I would share my experience so far. This is my, my first print, really, and I'm very happy. And as I experiment, if I find any any cool features, I will definitely show them. Uh, one thing to mention is that the setup for this is super, 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 super easy to the point where I felt like I was missing stuff because it was so easy. Very easy to set up. The software is super easy to use. The little connectors that hold these up leave they leave a tiny little booger on the surface, but it's so small, it's uh, you could clean it with an X-Acto knife probably in about two seconds. Basically, just snap off. So there's a dish. And basically, the only cleanup I need to do at all is just to clean off the little um, support material. And that's it. And then it's like a, a beautiful piece. Beautiful. So I'll be doing a lot more. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry, I'm a little loss of words right now. This thing is awesome. And I, I'm just uh, super shocked at how, how good these parts came out. But yeah, I'll have more stuff from the Form 2 soon enough. See you guys in a bit. Look at how tiny those barrels are. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. There's not even print lines. There's, there are no print lines on this thing. It's crazy. It is crazy. Medium setting, guys. Medium. This isn't even the high setting. This is the medium setting. Incredible. I can't, I can't get over it. It's awesome. Uh -huh.